All right, everybody, and welcome back to the High Tech Redneck. Uh, I've had lots of questions uh, and comments on the track sled that we built for uh, our DIY track sled. This one was built out of a 2003 Rev chassis that had been smashed in the front end or run into a tree, so that made it pretty much worthless other than building the track sled. Now, my last videos, I wasn't uh, very clear on the step-by-step -step, uh, to take one apart and put one back together. So today we're going to do just that. Uh, it might be a two-part series, but we're going to get started on today disassembling our 19, I believe it's a 1973 Polaris Colt. Don't quote me, I'm not a snowmobile and uh, aficionado, if you will. Um, so anyhow, without any further ado, enjoy the time lapse of us tearing this bad girl apart.
just about all the way stripped down. Now we'll get the secondary clutch off. I have to run town, get some more blades and disc in order to get the rest of the floorboards off. And then yeah, I think she's about ready. Um, I'll worry about the next step after. But all in all, fairly uh, cut and dry on what you should be doing when stripping one of these. Uh, some people like to leave the floorboards. I don't. I noticed with our with this snow dog before I had leveled it out and raised the front end when you would turn it uh, scooped up snow and it throw you throw you over so I eliminated floorboards so I didn't have that shovel scoop going on in the front anymore and it should work so that's what I'm doing here I'm gonna try to get everything as level as possible We'll end up strapping the rear end down. I'm not going to take any suspension components out. I'm just going to strap it down so it sits level. Gas tank, obviously, we'll get that off. That's about where the engine's going to be. Engine mounts, super simple. We'll cover that in the next video. This one was pretty much just a start out on what you should be doing when you cut one of these things apart and what you should be saving and everything else that you can throw away. Um, if the snowmobile is worth anything as far as the engine and stuff goes, I wouldn't suggest throwing it out as I did. That motor was seized up, it's smoked. The skis will salvage everything else, gonna go in the scrapyard. It was a free snowmobile, so you can't really cry about it. So thanks for sticking along this this long with us guys and we'll be back when we get the uh, floorboards off clean everything the rest of the way up gas tank off secondary off and we should be good to go and we'll start building motor mounts and all that stuff in the next video so everyone can get an idea of how it's going to go. I might have to re remove this little piece of sheet metal here so we got clearance for our chain. But yeah, there it is. You can take a sprocket and you're going to put it on here.
perfect. Somewhat in mind. Pay attention to which way this goes out. This side with the flat edges. Fits inside of there like that. motor right in the center I mean really can't get much better than that all right so there's a general overlook of how everything's going to be set up eventually. We got our square stock. Uh, they're just metal that we got from somewhere years and years ago. My grandfather and dad picked them up. Anyhow, that's going to be our handlebars. The motor, we're going to put on risers just so it isn't sitting directly on the tunnel and we have adjustment and as you can see there we're gonna put our sprocket here and the chain will run from here right into there and I believe that's a 10 tooth sprocket this is a 30 series clutch uh, setup from Amazon nothing special I think they're like 70 bucks uh, I was going to use this, uh, I believe it's a 40, 24 tooth sprocket, inch and a quarter, which is way too big. We need a uh, three quarter of an inch. So we're going to be making a trip to the hardware store to get ourselves one of those. It's going to get bolt it I can bolt it right on there is no need to uh, weld it it's got a nice keyway keyway into your sprocket bolt it on and then you can uh, change ratios as you wish because not all the snowmobiles are the same uh, as far as their chain case goes there's different gearing in here in each snowmobile all right guys thanks for sticking along this long uh we got the sled pretty well prepped i know it doesn't look like much right now but we uh sanded all the paint down the best that we could again i'm not looking for perfection here uh it will look good in the end we got our limiter straps off uh floorboards off gas tank off secondary clutch is off and everything is cleaned up cut off as nice as it could be I'm sure there's ideas to uh, put coping or that rubber edging on the edge of this all the way around probably be pretty nice I guess I do. I got a little bit more paint to do. Nonetheless, everything will be ground down. 
and when we get back to episode number two of this track sled build we'll be building our risers building our handlebars mounting the engine and our new sprocket with a chain and then we're gonna have to get throttle cable and linkages for that so stay tuned again thank you guys so much for uh, being as generous as you are with the subscribes and the likes it's awesome I never thought I'd see 25 subscribers let alone 75 so I keep on putting in as much work as we can.